Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Juliana binti Muhammad Sulaiman. I want to explain a little bit about myself. My friends call me Ju while at home. My family call me Ana. I was born in Kuantan, Pahang. I am 21 years old this year. Before I further my study on degree, I study at Pahang Matriculation College. I take course Science Physical for two years. Then I further my degree at University Tun Hussein on Malaysia. Now I will go through for what have I learned when making a video documentary. For your information, we need to make a documentary video for our project. This project is divided for three groups, which is group one, group two, and group three. I'm in group 3 and have 14 members in this group. The title for the video is Successful People in Malaysia. First learn I get when making this video is clear communication is the key to make sure our project is success. Why I'm saying this because clear communication is important to make a project more creative. Giving a creative idea in your mind to a group of people is not an easy task. It requires very clear communication to make people understand. It is because every people have different opinion and idea. Personally, I'm also feel difficult when start the video documentary because each member give different idea and title to this documentary video. But after discussion, we decided to choose successful people as our title. See, it requires very clear communication. Next is give a cooperation when do the project together with other group members. I think our project going well because our leader is so good. His name is Saleh Udin. He is so determined and hardworking in every aspect for what uh, he has planned on this video. He also communicate with all group members regularly about what to do. This make the video run smoothly. Um, for personal development that have I experienced is I significantly improve my ability in confidence level. Personally, I don't have any confidence when I speak in front of people that I didn't know and also when making a documentary video for this subject uh, I always thinking my English is not very good I'm worried my explanations does not reach to our audience with the help of my group member I can improve my English language by asking them whether my speaking is okay or not also I get information from the internet one of the reasons for boosting the self-confidence is that there is strong association between confidence and success. Next is slightly improve my body language too. When I record the video, I likely just take it in front of camera without any movement and just like a mannequin. I'm just read the script like the whole video and then finish record the video. This can make the audience not interested and boring when I just read the script. So, I decided to make a movement with my hands to make me comfortable to record the video. And research has proved that the correct body language can help you connect effectively with audience and your message can across more efficiently. Your body just gesture can help improve your performance. Um, the main challenge I need to face it when I record the video is at some point I record sounds that I don't want appear in the video, but it happened to me when I record the video. This actually happened at hostel, hostel when I record the video. Um, then Saleh wants all of us to record the video as soon as possible 
and unfortunately, I forgot to record it earlier. So, I go to the reading room to record the video. But, at that time, an uncle is mowing the lawn using a land mower. So, the terrible sound of the grass machine was very loud. And uh, when I was recording uh, the video, my voice was my voice was not clear. I need to re-record my video. Um, I had to wait for the uncle to finish his work so I can continue record my video. At that time, there were many people passing by to go to a cafe. So, some solutions can prevent this problem are avoid record video at noisy place. I think that was my mistake because a uh, delay to record the video. Next is when record the video, I think I need to wear a phone so my voice can be clear or louder. At that time, I forgot to bring my earphone. So the documentary that I record have some have some sounds like people talking and so on. major change taken and whether it's easy right choice or wrong personally i think my decision to join the group three for english project are very good because this the spirit cooperation between us are very high and that was the reason our project are going well even i didn't know half of the group members and our group only have 14 members but we can communicate to each other through whatsapp if something happened like how to record the video we share all the information that we have and help each other like give info from the internet about successful people even though we so busy with some projects of, of other subjects but we successfully made a documentary video before today and the result is positive. It is because our leader always reminds us to do our part of video documentary. We also get a positive comment from our lecturer, Dr. Noor Ashikin. I'm also grateful. I'm also very grateful because I joined her session for English because she tried her best to make sure all students understand uh, for the task even and she also very a nice person i think my decision to join this class and also join group 3 was the right choice that's all from me thank you for watching bye bye